of all, I guess everyone's been telling you we've only seen 20 minutes of the film, yep. but it is intriguing. I can't wait for the full film. <laughs> I'm thinking, what was the first thing both of you guys thought when you read the screenplay? I was just so excited about it because it was nothing I could ever read before and it, the surprises kept coming and it was, my eyes kept popping out of my sockets because I was like, what on earth is going to happen next? And it just kept, the surprises just kept right. coming and I was like, I was really excited to see how this was going to be made. Yeah. A lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so many, the characters are so different. Yes. Especially yours. Yes. Yeah, well, they're all, uh, you know, nobody is who they appear to be Correct. in the movie. They've already, you know, in the trailer, they've let the cat out of the bag that I'm not really a priest. You know. <laughs> but that's okay because there's yeah. so many, you know, wonderful cats in this. Yeah. You know, they keep jumping out at you. Yeah. Well, for you, Jeff, um, you've been around for a while. You have been in so many great films. You sing, you act. What gets your attention nowadays? What does a script need to have in order to sell Jeff Bridges? I guess the first thing is if it's a movie that I want to see. Yeah. You know, ah, you know, okay. like that's that's oh, I'd like to see that one. Yeah. You know, get that made. Right. And then to be a part of it. And uh, then you start to figure out the different components, you know, the, you know, the director and the other rest of the right. cast yeah. and mm -hmm. those kinds of things. And this one just, wow, this starts to fall into place like a bunch yeah. of dominoes going. It's crazy. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And for you, we love you moving from Broadway, theater, yeah. Tony Award winning, over into the big screen. Yeah. What has that transition been like for you? Because everybody sees you with the color purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they know you and they know that beautiful voice. Yeah. But now we're getting to see you on the big screen. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really exciting. Um, I thought I would be slightly frightened about it, but I, I'm not. I think I've... I'm greedy and I want to try my hand at everything and I want to be able to just be a performer who can be on film or be on stage or sing and um, the, the idea that I get to do that now is really, really wonderful. I'm just glad that I was given the chance to do something like this as one of the first things I got to do. Well, you know, we interviewed the director earlier and he yeah. mentioned he was sold on you the minute he heard your voice and he said he knew you wanted, he wanted you to sing live. Yeah. Uh, what was that like? Um, kind of awesome. Um, I was speaking to him um, whilst we were shooting, and there's a there's something that happens in the, in the film, and he had asked me to sing, make something up on the spot uh, in this when I was meeting him, and he said it was when I made something up on the spot that he was like, "Yep, yeah, that's the one." And I was like, I didn't even know that. I just because it was something that came naturally to me. I just did what I know how to do. Yeah, what it is. I will say, yes. the song that you sing is so hypnotic, that yeah. Ron Isley song. I couldn't get that out of my head after I saw it. And you do it in a very, a little bit of a different version. Yes. I won't spoil it for everybody, yes. but it's so beautiful. Was Thank it you. scary taking on something like that? Because it's such a beloved song. Yeah. Everybody knows the Isley Brothers. Yes. Everybody knows that song. Yes. So sometimes it can be intimidating a yeah. little bit. I, it was, and, but I, what I try to do is not imitate. If okay. I don't imitate, then the pressure isn't there to make it sound the same as what is already there. For me, it's a case of as being as truthful in the music as I possibly can and telling the story through the song. So, however that is on, however that sounds on me, is what I what I will try and put forward, and hopefully that is the thing people like. Yeah. yeah. Although we've only seen like 20 minutes of it, I've talked to some of the yeah. other journalists, a lot of people keep saying the same thing, that it kind of reminded them a little bit of, of Quentin Tarantino's mm -hmm. kind of style mm -hmm. of, of film. Mm -hmm. Have you guys been hearing that comparison or did it remind you of that when you read the screenplay? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a big fan of, right. uh, of Quentin Tarantino. I remember seeing... Um, you know, what was his big, the big breakout? Well, uh, uh, Pulp Fiction or yeah, Pulp Fiction? Fiction. Yeah. But yeah, and even before those, you know, the, uh, you know, the one with everybody in there. But no, Pulp Fiction, I remember. That was like such a fresh yeah. thing. I said, wow. Yeah, yeah. And, and this film has a feeling. similar kind of thing. Mm -hmm. it, it was, it, it didn't remind me of any movie that I've, I've ever been involved in. No. Mm -hmm. new, new thing. Yeah. yeah, very different. It was super fresh. I, I, what drew me to it was how, um, New scene. I've never, I've never really read anything right. like this before. I don't yeah. know that anything like this exists. So I, I understand where that might come from, but I think this is very new. This is very different. Definitely. Yeah. Congratulations to you both, and definitely congratulations you. to you. I can't wait to see you, you in Widows and the upcoming John Ridley film. Thank so, you so much. Good Thank luck. You.